In other news, the worldwide pilot shortage has hit our friends here at CAL FIRE, and the story has hit the press recently about how the pilot shortage is impacting operations at CAL FIRE. Now, it's not that bad where they occasionally have to park one or two, maybe up to four air tankers uh, during peak firefighting season. Now, there's a lot of factors that are impacting the pilot shortage specifically here at CAL FIRE, besides just a global pilot shortage. Some of the issues they're trying to work out here at CAL FIRE include a very important quality of life issue. Traditionally, air tanker flying was a seasonal job, maybe four to five months long. So you had to make a whole uh, annual salary's worth of money during those four or five short months. So you needed to work as much as possible. So the basic CAL FIRE program scheduled for pilots has been for years, six days on, one day off. Now as the pilot season extends even longer and, and they're talking about a year-round pilot season now, that schedule is no longer sustainable. It's just much too fatiguing for the pilots to work six days on, one day off. They're lobbying hard to try and get a schedule more similar to traditional firefighters, maybe a week on or six days on and then six days off. A week on, a week off. But that, of course, requires more pilots to cover the schedule. So it makes a bad problem even worse. So they got to work out these issues in order to overcome the pilot shortage program at CAL FIRE. Another uh, factor, and it's official now, CAL FIRE, you know, this is the state of California fire, Aerial Firefighting Division, is acquiring the U.S. Forest Service C-130 program. So CAL FIRE is going to get into the medium-sized air tanker program for the first time in their history with C-130s. That's going to require a whole lot of more pilots. Each C-130H is going to require two pilots, a pilot and a co-pilot and a flight engineer. CAL FIRE's current fixed wing fleet includes 22 S-2T aircraft as shown here, plus one maintenance spare aircraft and 13 OV-10 Broncos, the spotter aircraft, plus an additional maintenance spare. Each of these aircraft require one pilot apiece. This covers 13 air attack bases located up and down the state of California.